Hi, good morning. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I want to share this video because I have a feeling that there are probably a lot more people that are experiencing a similar incident that I was experiencing myself. And the thing is, a new kernel just got released, which is the kernel 6.12. Now, um, I haven't gotten this version yet. It's Right now, it's in core testing, so... If you have this repository enabled, then you should be able to test this kernel. But if you're on the uh, core repo, you'll have to wait a couple of days, maybe even weeks. Who knows how long it takes? It's funny how people like to like say that like Arch Linux is this like bleeding, um, cutting edge, rolling release distro where they just ship out things without testing or something like that. When when in reality, they actually do test things. <laughs> they do test things before they get released. Uh, it's definitely a lot less stable than Debian and whatever, but they definitely do test. Like, they don't just fucking ship things out without even at least checking <laughs> if it's functional. But anyway, um, regardless, speaking of shipping out things that aren't functional, uh, let's talk about kernel 6.11 because while this is nice, uh, I have heard that this kernel will introduce some improvements like a real-time kernel something that apparently always existed on linux but it was never enabled by default uh there seems to be some improvements in the scheduler and file systems uh, this one i definitely heard at some point uh i think there may also be some improvements to zen 5 if i'm not mistaken but i'm not entirely sure on that i, I think that already happened on on kernel 6.11 but Regardless, um, oh, I think they also may have either enabled support for RDNA 4 or at the very least they started to uh, integrate some, you know, improvements for the driver stack for when the card ends up arriving. That's also nice. Uh, but here's the thing. Before worrying about this, you should worry about the current kernel because that one is a bit problematic. Now, the thing is, I will say one thing. So I'm going to show you right now. I have the 6.11. Now, the thing is, um, if you have this version of the kernel, there is a chance that you may be experiencing issues with the suspend, with the suspend function, as in whenever you put your computer to sleep or suspend it, and then when you try to wake up, uh, it'll show a black screen or your screen will be unresponsive. Uh, this isn't happening to everyone. For example, I have a separate laptop that has Arch Linux that also has this for this kernel version, but that wasn't experiencing any issues. I only started seeing this happen on my main computer. And at first I was a bit confused. I was like, wait, what the fuck? Why is this? Why is, why is this suddenly happening? But then I started to connect the dots and we're like, wait a minute. I noticed that this started happening after I up updated to 6.11 like coincidentally was around that time and i honestly heard that uh I, I started like reading around some forums here and there just to see hey is there some correlation between this version of the kernel and all of these problems with suspend and wake up and it turned out that yes and the thing is uh i I decided to read a bit more because what, the first time when I tried researching this, I don't think there was a lot of like um, info as far as like what was causing it. But uh, I did recently check up just to see if anyone knew what was the root cause. And apparently there's like a Bluetooth driver that's kind of fucked up. And so if that's the case, and you can actually test this for yourself because bear in mind that uh, Linux isn't... Um, isn't unfamiliar as far as like issues with suspend and wake up this is not an uncommon problem um, a lot of the times it's because of like hybrid graphics especially nvidia shit but in this case obviously it wasn't anything related to nvidia because i have a radeon card uh but what is at least worth noting is that you might be experiencing issues with suspend and wake up that aren't actually related to this. And so I, I think the first thing you should at least test is go to the Bluetooth uh, configuration, disable it, and then try to suspend the computer and wake up to see if, if it actually does it. Because if it works, then great. You, we were able to identify what was causing it. And if we're able to identify it, then 
you have three solutions. Either one, every time you suspend your computer, you turn off Bluetooth, which is not necessarily an unreasonable thing to do, but I would imagine that a lot of people are probably going to forget to do that because I don't think the first thing people think about whenever they suspend their computer is whether or not Bluetooth is enabled. So the, four, the second option is to just keep Bluetooth always disabled, but I'm going to assume that some of you probably use Bluetooth either for connecting your controller or any other Bluetooth devices like Bluetooth mouse, Bluetooth keyboard, and whatever the fuck. So at least for me personally, because I like playing with my PlayStation 4 controller, that's not an option. Uh, option number three, use the LTS kernel. That's actually what I've been doing for the past month. The problem with using the LTS kernel though, is so there are two problems. The first one is that sometimes using the LTS kernel can bog down the performance of the overall system. Uh, in, at least in my case, I think where I would mainly see the performance regression would be in games because typically whenever there are new kernels, they actually do tend to improve gaming performance. So using an older kernel isn't always ideal. And I think I was using like kernel 6.6 uh, throughout this month while I was waiting for this issue to be solved, which spoiler alert, as, as of me writing this video, this issue is still not solved. So you can use the LTS kernel, but uh, the fourth option, which is the one that I would recommend, and I'll actually post a link to this um, to this discussion forum. Create this. Use this script right here. Create this text file. Make it an executable. And then what 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 this will basically do is this is basically a script in which it'll disable Bluetooth every time your computer is is uh, suspending. And then when it wakes up, it all, it'll automatically enable Bluetooth. So that's what I would do for the time being. This is the solution that I would offer. And honestly, this is pretty easy to do. Like creating it, uh, creating this text file is pretty fucking easy. Like honestly, all you really have to do is just type sudo nano paste this and then copy this entire script here and then save it and then ideal uh, obviously you also need to um make this an executable which you can do by typing sudo chmod plus x and x is for executable um, r is for read W is for right. Uh, that's just a just that's just something I wanted to show you guys. I'm, I'm sure some of you already knew this, obviously. Uh, but anyway, uh, plus X, and yeah, you type this. I'm not gonna do it because it's already set to executable. And I, maybe you should probably also reboot your computer just in case. And then after that, this should definitely work, unless unless you screwed up one in one of those steps. This isn't meant to be like a step by step instruction not that it's hard to do uh but yeah honestly that's all i wanted to share because um uh, i've been experiencing these problems and um i don't know maybe some of you are i know most of you aren't using linux but uh still I, I felt like sharing because this was definitely driving me insane for the past month uh i was always wondering fuck can i please use the latest kernel can i please use the latest kernel can i please use the latest kernel and then i would try testing to see if the issue was solved it was never solved but then I decided to actually do just a, just a bit more research just to see what was going on. And then I found this out. And yeah, I'm glad I did because now I can use the latest kernel again.